All right, Baz, gift number one. This is from me to you. Please lift the cloth. Okay, Michael. Asiet de las Valdesas. Is this one of those chick boxes? Why can't I? Well, I can't, I can't. Take a moment, mate. Ah, I did it. Okay, okay. It's like the top slides. Oh, oh. So it looks like we have a selection of olive oils. Correct. Wouldn't it be amazing to get to a point where you could identify which olives made the olive oil that you best liked, and then you'd be able to use that information in the same way that you do grapes and wine. Yeah, I love the idea of that. So yes, this is an olive oil tasting set. So you have five bottles there. This is from uh, Saborita, who are a Spanish organic larder who distribute products from family owned producers in Spain. Bold portions for tasting <laughs> sets. <laughs> well, I think they're, they're good samples, aren't they? You've got ample there to yeah. use. I'm sure there's a subtle difference between all of these, but does it say like what is best to serve it with? how to apply it? Well, there are tasting notes. So let's do some tasting. So the origin of these olives are from the Las Valdesas estate. First one, Abaquina. Abaquina. Light, subtle, tiny tickle the back of the throat. So the tasting notes we have for the Abaquina. Sweet without any bitter notes. Fresher, more fruity. Well, what are you laughing at? I'm just laughing because look at you. Hoi Look at you. I'm I'm living the flipping dream. Oh. More, this would be better than meat. This is the manzanilla. Peculiar, complete and with high levels of polyphenols. That's what I thought. So we can establish there are differences between all of them, right? This helps you give a guide on how to apply it. I really like tasting side by side to see the differences. But once I've tasted them, I'd probably cork them all back again and use them like I do bags of coffee. I would use one bag of coffee until I use it up and I go, you know what, I fancy a change. Next one. This gives you variety over a period of time. I 100% agree with you. Let's talk about price. 35 to 40 pounds. I think it would be a fair gift set. Cock on, 40 pounds. For a gift, for the experience, do you think it's worth it? It's definitely a lot of money, but for the experience you get, I kind of like it. I would never have thought about it otherwise. Well, then the question is, is it a great gift or is it a re-gift? Well, I'm taking this home, so it's a great gift. You're welcome. Spafford, you're in, mate. Lovely. The Hydro Herb Kit contains everything you need to get started. Featuring recycled parts and organic nutrient solution, you can expect to have fresh organic herbs for years to come. This is the Hydro Herb Kit. They offers you the opportunity to grow your own choice of 12 herbs hydroponically. Each kit is made from hand-cut recycled glass wine bottle and includes both organic seeds and hydroponic solution. How do I... Dismantle right. the broken glass. Oh, it's, it's not no, broken. Well, it's yeah, just it's, it's, it's Jamie, Jamie does it in his way. <laughs> Jamie's jazzing. <laughs> so this company was founded by a guy called Julian, who went at university, was getting a bit tired of the walk of shame as he took his wine bottles to the recycling plant and went, I've got too many bottles here. So his solution was, let's see if we can use some of those wine bottles. Oh, not drink less. No, no, just no, 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 no. Put, yeah. the, put the bottles elsewhere. Just upcycle, yeah. Right. Someone show me how this works. I'm baffled. Oh, no. I mean, that was pr we saw him do that and we knew that was coming. If I'm honest, I didn't think it was going to come quite so soon in the process. Setting up the Hydro Herb Kit. Step one, don't do that. First job is to hydrate one of the Jiffy tabs. Fill a bowl of water and place the tab in the water, dimple side up. Leave for six to eight minutes or until it stops swelling. While the tab soaks, take the capillary matting wick and fold in half as it appears in the picture for the parts list. So that's going like that. Yep. Cut away some of the material from the top of the Jiffy tab, revealing more soil, then gently place the hydrated tab onto the wick in the centre of the bottle top. This is a proper activity, isn't it? it I is. quite like it. It's, it's a DIY kit. How do you usually buy your herbs? The really lazy way, which is buy a bag of herbs, or the slightly less lazy way, which is to buy a pot of herbs and then throw it out three weeks later when it dies and then have to buy a bag of herbs because yeah. I will use them. Yeah. 
but you can also fill the bottom reservoir with some water and some of your hydroponic solution. So this solution basically has all the nutrients that the <laughs> mint needs to grow. I'm going to be honest with you, Baz, I'm picking up on some issues. Right. You, you're the issue. Six to eight drops. Germination takes between about like about, about 10 days uh, and then to actually grow in something you can start to enjoy, you're looking at around about a couple of months. Wow, that's quite a long time, isn't it? Today is mid-July. On the 1st of June, I went through that whole process with some time. So I've been looking after this for six or seven weeks and deliberately haven't been cutting it back, just let it grow. I've replaced the water in it three or four times, sat in a sunny window, it's done that. I would trust myself to grow this far more than a pot that I bought because it's low maintenance and requires watering like once a week as opposed to once a day. And also, having gone through that process, I'm invested in it now. I want that to work. So you can get these individually or you can buy them as a set of three. How much do you think that would cost? I'm gonna say 21 pounds, which would put it at seven pounds per pot. So for a set of three, you're looking at 44 pounds. Individually, you can buy them for 20. So I was wrong. You're paying a premium for the fact that someone's done and sourced everything that you need and made it as easy as possible, yet made you feel a sense of achievement the fact that you've done it. If you can get results easily out of it, I think the concept is therefore really, really good. I just don't know about the price. Okay then, Jay, so is it a great gift or would you re-gift it? My worry is that if you bought this for someone, they wouldn't realise how much you'd spent on them. Great gift or re-gift? That's re what we want. Re-gift. You're going to have to take that home again, Evers. Oh, I'm happy to look after it. It's great. Probably clear this up as well. If you're enjoying this, there are some small things you can do that make a big difference to us. Like the video. Subscribe if you aren't. Click the notification bell and select all. Thanks. Okie dokie, Evers. Lift the pointless cloche. Canned cocktails. So this is from the White Box Cocktail Company. They're a fairly new business, have been around for the last year or so, based in Edinburgh. And the team is full of incredible mixologists who have specifically designed cocktails to be canned, sent out in the post, and then poured into glasses and drunk. I want you to substantiate that claim, or are you speaking from the website? What, best mixologists in the world? Yeah. Former head bartender from the Dandelion Cocktail Bar in London, which is... Substantiated. Now, Evans, whilst I'd love to see you open one of those cans, they have been in a box and not chilling. So what we've done is actually get another box and put that in the oh, fridge. Oh, well done. Oh, so that we have present. some chilled cocktails. That's almost like me growing herbs for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. What do we want? Well, actually, I know what we want. You're going to have the old-fashioned, aren't you, Jay? The old-fashioned uses cherry wood-infused whiskey. Uh, and to reflect that, they've made a label out of wood, as they say. But you can see how much thought has gone into every one of yeah. the cocktails and the branding that goes along with them as well, I think is really cool. Nice. I'm gonna go Negroni, because that is genuinely one of my faves. Drink it and tell me. So that, like a good Negroni, is a sipper. 35%. Ooh, I like a martini. To be honest with you, I prefer them dirty. Oh well, damn. <laughs> <laughs> that is crystal. You will love that. Martini falls into the category of... <laughs> <laughs> you stick to your happy fears. Baz, you stick to your disco, baby. <laughs> when you start to get an old fashioned, a Negroni or a Martini in a can... A bar that, standard That's well. when it becomes interesting. How much do you think that box was? Less than 30 pound. They've got to be less than five pound each. 20, if it's 25 quid for the box. There we go, 25 quid for the box. It is 29 pounds for the box of six. It's the kind of gift that I might take to a dinner party. Rather than, rather than rocking up with a bottle of fizz or a bunch of flowers, rock up with that as a gift. And I think it's just a, it's a nice thing, especially if there's a group of you, there'll be something in there for everyone. Well, Ebers, is it a great gift or is it a re-gift? It is a great gift, but one that you will probably want to share. Sidekick bundles three inspiring meals together in recipe packs that share fresh and store cupboard ingredients to save you cash. 
You can plan your week using our amazing new planner feature. And combine two recipe packs in order to plan for more days of your week. Sidekick will then generate one single shopping list for all those meals, ordered by category to make shopping a lot easier. Then cook using the step-by-step -step recipe guides, automatic timers, and all the fresh food that you bought at the beginning of the week will be entirely used up. Why not give Sidekick a try today, completely free for 30 whole days. Mike, I've precariously popped a cloche on top of this one. It's a giant pot and it's really, it's nice. A bit like all of them today, it's a DIY project. This is a vinegar jar from Sous Chef and it is the way that you can make your own vinegar in a matter of weeks and or months, depending on the conditions and the ingredients you put in. I've got a really stupid question. How do you, how do you make vinegar? Vinegar is alcohol that has been turned into acid. Are we gonna make some? Would you like to make some? Yeah! Might take six weeks. Oh. <laughs> oh, don't worry, he, the herbs took six weeks and he made some. <laughs> so this is gonna be great. This is a genuine experiment. We're going to start it off today and we will come back to it in five, six, seven weeks, whenever we think it's ready. That is quite the cliffhanger, Evan. <laughs> <laughs> so I figured we'd make cider vinegar and we've bought not the cheapest, but you know, a very affordable cider. Crack four or five into your vinegaria. A vinegar. A vinegar vinegaria. I'm a vinegarista. I'm a vinegarista. <laughs> I'm the vinegarista. So we should stress when it arrived, you actually have to fill it with water, put the cork in, the tap in, and then fill it with water because the cork needs to hydrate and swell to fill the gap to gotcha, make it water tight. Okay. That takes a day or two, at which point you can empty it of water, make sure it's nice and clean, and then add in your alcohol. Now this can be at this stage, any alcohol you want. Don't mix them, but like it could be cider, it could be wine, it could be sake, it could be beer. And this will only work with oxygen. Right. So what you want to do is to fill it to the widest part of that vinegar ear, so it has the largest surface area of oxygen. We've got some cider vinegar, raw, so unpasteurized, so it's got the living bacteria and yeast still in it. Really good for gut health. In order to start it, like sourdough, you need a starter. Right. Okay. Now, once you've done this one, you'll tap off three quarters of it into bottles and you'll leave what's left and top it back up again. So you oh, only need right. to start it once. But this is like the mother, the SCOBY, the symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. We did the same for kombucha. Gotcha. As it happens, this is the hottest day of the year, or actually of ever. So far. So far. So in here, we'll try and keep the temperature at about 20 to 25 degrees Celsius for four to six weeks. It's going to fluctuate. We'll see how we end up. The beauty of making your own vinegars is you can infuse it and flavor it with anything you want. So in the fridge, we've got some raspberries, some basil, and some rosemary. You can infuse it with whatever. The live cultures in the vinegar will feed off the sugars and the alcohol. And hopefully, in four to six weeks time, we'll have a really delicious vinegar, which mixed with really delicious oils will give you all sorts of opportunities for dressing salads, dips, and that vinegaria will never, unless you break it, tire. Rinse it out and go again. That is a gift for life. Okay, Ding. so it has been a matter of weeks, <laughs> and we now have our very own vinegar. Oh, what a lovely colour. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is pungent. What, am I just Well, I think it's just a little bit in your bowl so you can just try some on a spoon because it is beautifully, I think, floral and fruity. It smells so fruity, not like any vinegar I've ever smelt before. Ooh, that is very that nice. Is, ooh, lovely. It's good, isn't it? Great, I'm actually looking forward to trying this now. So yeah, you wouldn't typically try it off a spoon, but have a little taste, and then we'll do a better thing with it and make a dressing. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely vinegar. You can definitely taste the basil as well. It's delicious. Give me some food to try with it though. On its own, it's a bit pungent, but just put three to one ratio of oil to vinegar in, and you get a wonderful fruity vinaigrette that would be absolutely delicious over any number of salads. And I quite deliberately put it in those small little bottles because I think they make wonderful gifts. And I think if this 
as a vinegarier is a gift for a foodie, I think you then make vinegar, which becomes gifts for foodies. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Oh, delicious. Absolutely stonking. That is, that is great. That feels like a great result for actually very little effort. Quite a lot of time, mm -hmm. but no effort. So back to our vinegarier. What do you think of it, and how much do you think it is? Before weeks ago, I did not know <laughs> how to make vinegar. I didn't know how it was made. Now I know, and I know that I can affect the flavour. It is really cool, and it's quite easy to do. So I like it. And what price would you put on it? So it's for the enthusiast. I'm going to say £50. It is a little more than that, at £79. But at £79, are you keeping or re-gifting? I mean, I'll definitely keep it because you've given it to me. I, th I think if I knew it would hit the mark with a very specific person, I think it's worth the £80. But that is a lot of money. So you'd have to know it's going to land well as a gift. What are your thoughts on those gifts? Comment down below, let us know your thoughts. And we'll also put links to those gifts in the description box below, along with another gifted subscription. See you in the next one. That's lovely. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Ah. He just put it on as well. I did just put this on. That's because it's been like four weeks and he was wearing the same t-shirt. So it looked like he hadn't changed for all those weeks. <laughs> but I had changed. It's really funny. Right. Ha, ha, ha.